Hello everybody, my name is Jack and welcome back for another lesson. The topic of today's lesson, well, you already know if you read the title, however, it is about adverbs, more precisely quantity adverbs. In today's lesson, I want to be more precise and address to adverbs of quantity because often in our speech, we need to take in consideration the quantity of something we are talking about. In this case, adverbs come very in handy because they specify characteristics of what we are describing. In fact, an adverb is an invariable part of the speech and its function is to modify verbs, adjectives and also nouns and complete sentences in order to specify better what we are meaning. So adverbs integrate qualities of all the previous grammatical parts that I've listed. Well, in this video, I've covered the general concept of adverbs, their function, why they're called adverbs, and their main role into sentences. So, first thing we've learned is that adverbs are invariable. Pro tip for genius speakers. You can always recognize adverbs into Italian sentences because they do not change nor gender nor number. Since adverbs are essentially semantic modifiers, fancy word, they are primarily classified by their meaning. That's why adverbs of quantity have the following meaning. They define the measure of intensity of what is expressed by the verb, adjective, noun or sentence that accompany adverbs. Adverbs of quantity yet address the measure of something, but they do not specify the exact quantity. Because to cover that role, we use numeral adjectives. Again, here you can find a previous video of mine, a previous lesson about numeral adjectives. Numeral adjectives, of course, are essential because they express the exact quantity of something you are talking about. But honestly, adverbs of quantity are more used in everyday speech because you don't have necessarily to explicit the quantity of something. Here, following the list of the 15 adverbs that I found out I use more often in Italian language, when I speak Italian language. Abbastanza means quite. Affatto means at all. Alquanto, somewhat. Altrettanto as much as, or equally. Appena is English just. Meno is less, molto, a lot, più, more. Piuttosto, this is composite using più, but adding tosto. Piuttosto means rather. Poco, little, quasi, almost. Solo, alone, troppo, too much. Pochi, few, alcuni, some. Wait a second, yeah, I tried to trick you, but of course, you are genius speakers and you already figured out that the last twos are not adverbs at all. Why? Because pochi e, the final vowel e, make it out clear that we are referring to masculine plural word. In fact, pochi refers to plural things. If we change it into its singular form, 
poco. As well, we can transform pochi, masculine plural, to female plural, poche, or poca, feminine, singular. The same thing happens for alcuni. Again, alcuni, the ending e reveals that we are talking about a plural form. In fact, some, alcuni, refers to some things, plural. If we change gender, alcuni becomes alcune, female plural. The same way if we take alcuni, plural, and we want to transform into its singular form, alcuno or alcuna. It is feminine, singular, and in Italian alcuna exists. Therefore, if you can change the concordance so you can switch between singular, plural, male and female, that is an adjective. However, if you take a real adverb of quantity, for instance, più, which means more, and you try to change concordance, so pia does not exist. Also, if you try to change the number, più is singular, p, plural, well, spoiler alert, that does not exist in Italian language. In this case, you can easily determine that più, it is an adverb and not an adjective because it can't change nor gender and nor number. So, ladies and gentlemen, class is dismissed. Remember to practice, uh, practice and of course you will be perfect, but don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video and help my work by subscribing to the channel. Uh, but most importantly, stay tuned for the next video lessons. Bye bye, speak like a genius, bye.